now the next question will be what will be the lowest energy term for d6 type of configuration so what will be the d6 d6 means 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so on adding so l will be equal to 2 okay for this we are having the term d and now coming to the s s will be equal to here we are having four unpaired electrons so four unpaired electrons means four upon into one by two this will gives me two and the multiplicity will be 2s plus 1 which is equal to 2 into 2 plus 1 is equal to 5 right so 5d will be the term symbol for this here just answer will be the d the answer okay this is how you can calculate coming to the next question the next question is the term symbol that is not allowed for the np2 configuration so p2 configuration i have solved over there so this is s p and d 1 3 and 1 this is the trick which i have told you earlier so which term symbol is not allowed 3p is there 1d is there 1s is there this one is not allowed configuration right the next question is what are the term symbols for a pair of equivalent and non equivalent electrons of s2 so what do you understand with this question so equivalent electron means s2 type of configuration here you just see s2 type of configuration and non equivalent means here s1 and s1 type of configuration so in my first question also i have discussed with you that s2 configuration will is the completely filled shell so it will give the this type of term symbol so you just go and check where it is given so and this is the only configuration for s2 type of configuration so here this will have here these two are given and here it is the and 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 so this will not work this will not work because it is having two terms two terms and here it is again having two terms this is the only term which is having one s configuration now coming to the s1 s1 type of configuration so for s1 l is equal to 0 and for the second s1 we are having again l1 is equal l2 is equal to 0 this cumulatively gives capital l is equal to 0 and this is equal gives us s term for the first electron s1 is half for second electron s2 is half so we are having this type of values of the spin angular momentum right out of these two l and s we are calculating the j value so for j value l is equal to 0 s is equal to 1 in the first set where l is 0 s is 1 right so we will get j is equal to 0 and for l is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0 we are getting j is equal to 0 so on putting these values to the term s what we will get we will get s 3 is the multiplicity corresponding to 1 and 1 is the j value corresponding to s is s is equal to 1 and this is s is equal to so multiplicity we get 3 and here multiplicity we get 1 s g so these two are the terms so in the first answer this again given so first is the answer for this given question okay if you if i ask you what is the difference between one and a and b all three terms are same so the only difference is the position of and right so you must be careful all about all such things so the end represents the this end right equivalent and non-equivalent electron so you should be very careful about all such terms now coming to the next question the possible term symbol of the excited state of sodium atom with electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3p1 so here the electronic configuration is basically what 3p1 this will participate so the electronic configuration is 3p1 so for p1 l1 is equal to what 1 this will gives me p state and one electron is there so that will gives me s is equal to half 
and corresponding to this half 2s plus 1 will be equal to 2 so 2p will be the term now coming to the j values in each of the option j value is given so we need to consider the j value also so here j is that l plus s to l minus s so on adding l plus s on the subtracting l minus s we will get these two values so corresponding to these j values 2p p by 2 and 2p 1 by 2 will be the term now the answer is the next question is the ground state terms of sm tamarium 3 plus and europium 3 plus respectively are so here these two configurations are very very important in the lanthanide series so i hope you remember these electronic configuration and here i am showing you the example so 62 samarium will give in this manner okay 4f6 6s2 if i solve the term symbol for this i will get this how i am going to solve this you just see so s2 will not participate in deciding the term symbol because it is completely filled and we are only concentrating on the f6 f has seven orbitals and this these out of seven six are half filled so one two three four five and six this is how we are calculating the l value l is what summation of l i which is given therefore these orbital okay so we will get this this is equal to plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 g plus 0 minus 1 and minus 1 minus 2 will be cancelled out by this plus 3 will be the l and this l will corresponds to which state f this will corresponds to f state okay and how many electrons are there six electrons are there so 6 plus 1 will be equal to 7 right simply so s is equal to what here 6 divided by s is equal to our 6 number of unpaired electrons divided by 2 1 by 2 is the spin so we will get 3 so 3 is the l 3 is the s so we will get j value is 0 okay it is less than half filled 0 will be the value l minus s so this is how one can calculate the ground state term symbol for samarium only for samarium only right now coming to the samarium 3 plus so 3 plus means what three electrons will be ejected from this ground state electronic configuration so both the electrons from this s orbital will be gone and one electron from this f will be gone so here what we will get we will get this type of configuration right and for this configuration what we will get the value of l so l will be is equal to 5 and corresponding to this 5 what will be the state state will be h right and uh, number of electrons are 5 so 5 plus 1 6 and 5 by 2 will be the c value okay so this is how you can from the trick actually now coming to the europium so europium is having 4f7 6s2 configuration since this f Seven is the half filled shell and for half filled shell i have given you the trick s n plus 1 so 7 plus 1 8 and n by 2 7 by 2 this is this is the term symbol for europium now coming to the europium 3 plus so 3 plus for this 3 plus all both the electrons from this s orbital will go on and one electron f will go on. now friends you will see these two are equivalent because here the completely filled s orbital doesn't participate and here this is vacant s orbital which is not participate both are having the same term symbol right so which will be the answer here you can see 6 h f 5 by 2 and 7 f 0 will be the answer so the answer now coming to the next question the configuration neon 2p1 3p1 has a 3d term its levels are so levels have been asked so what do you understand with the levels level for levels we need to calculate the j value 
okay so for this term 3d 3d is given over there so no need to calculate this again and for this 3d d stands for l is equal to 2 and from this 3 3 is 2s plus 1 and from here we will get s is equal to 1 j value will be l plus s to l minus s so 3 to 1 differing by 1 3 minus 1 will give 2 minus 1 gives me 1. So there are 3 j values and corresponding to these 3 j values we are having 3 different labels. So here 3d3, 3d2 and 3d1 are the labels. So, so which one is the answer? Answer is C. Okay. Now coming to the next question. So the next question is the lowest energy state of an atom with electronic configuration ns1 np1 has the term symbol so here is the electronic configuration here i have again written over here so corresponding to this what will be the state state if we are having one s orbital participating then the second one will give us the state directly number of unpaired electrons are 2 so 3 pp now coming to the j so corresponding to this s is equal to 1 l is equal to 1 so we will get p0 this is the answer right i this is i have solved through trick okay so if you ask me to elaborate then i can also elaborate it so how i am going to elaborate it so for this l1 is equal to 0 l2 is equal to 1 and on adding and subtracting we will get capital l is equal to 1 and this gives the p state now coming to the s1 is equal to 1 by 2 s2 is equal to 1 by 2 and on adding and subtracting what we will get we will get 1 and 0 since lowest energy state has been asked so low for lowest energy state we will consider only the highest value of s and corresponding to this s1 we are having multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 3 right and 3p will be the term now coming to the j value so j here l is 1 and here j s is 1 so j will be l minus s because it is less than half filled so 0 will be the 3p 0 will be the answer now coming to the next the term symbol for the first excited state of beryllium with the electronic configuration is given over here 1s2, 2s1, 3s1. So here the term symbol is term symbol will be calculated from this electronic configuration. So this will not participate. This will participate and this will participate. So if we are having S and S, first I will calculate it from the trick. So we will get capital S. Two electron unpaired electrons, so 3s. And here we will get what will be the j j will be l plus s so 1 answer will be 3s1 so this is from the trick okay now i will calculate how to calculate this will not participate l1 is equal to 0 l2 is equal to 0 so this corresponds to capital l is equal to 0 and this gives us s s1 is equal to 1 by 2 s2 is equal to 1 by 2 these two will gives us 1 and 0 since the term symbol has been asked for the first excited state so we will consider only the ground state right so one will we will going to consider and corresponding to this one we will have multiplicity 2s plus 1 is equal to 3 and since s is equal to 1 and l is equal to 0 so j j is equal to l plus s to l minus s and here we will consider this is the again a trick l minus s because it is less than half filled so l is equal to 0 minus s is equal to 1 so this will be 3. so i hope guys this much are the questions which I have summarized from some question papers and if you have some your own questions also you can write down in the section. I hope you find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe. Thank you all for watching.